Is job security still a thing in cybersecurity? That was the question that's been lingering in my mind recently. Now the reason why I'm making this video is because my company is going through some restructuring and that resulted in a handful of people being made redundant. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, stay calm. everyone? What's the procedure? Stay and this also made me think about whether my job is also on the line. Like, am I next on the chopping block? And don't know you guys are interested in this career path probably had the same thought that crossed your mind. I for sure did back then. And you've probably seen the news recently that companies across the world in the tech industry are seriously laying off a lot of people. And keep in mind, most of these people aren't even being laid off because they can't do their jobs. It's because a lot of these companies realize they actually don't need these people anymore. With one of the most obvious reasons being AI and automations, I remember when ChatGPT first announced that we can generate code with it. I was like, cool, that's great that you can generate simple code on the fly for your side projects or other simple things. But the rate of the AI growth is actually insane and it's also impacting cybersecurity. Like for me, personally, I know how to code and when I need to find out something, I just go on Google or go on Stack Overflow to scroll through a lot of pages to find my answer. But with ChatGPT right now in its current state, it has literally become my digital assistant. Instead of me spending all that time googling, I'm able to get answers and even generate code structure that I need for a piece of work that I'm doing. And this, this efficiency improvement is what's killing the industry. If we're able to use code generated by AI that cuts the time and work in half, and the code is usable in production, then there's not going to be a lot of reason for a large team of developers anymore. Now that's mainly focused on the developer space, but what about cybersecurity? Should any of us be worried about being made redundant? My straight answer to that is a solid no. Let me use an analogy to explain. Let's say you own a cafe. You're going to have people working on the floor, people working in the kitchen to make food and drinks, and then you're going to have people doing management stuff. But at the end of the day, when it's closing time, you always lock up the shop and you turn on the alarms and the cameras. You do all that to make sure your shop is safe and secure. And when you think about it, every single shop does the same thing. This is literally what cybersecurity is, but for the digital world. It's a fundamental practice that every single company needs to operate. Another important reason which makes me quite confident about the job security is because cybersecurity is a cost center, and businesses always try to minimize their cost to maximize their profit, right? So with that thinking in mind, if you're already on the team, then that means your cost of being on the team has already been minimized. But you might be asking, surely cybersecurity people also get laid off even with all that said, right? Well, yeah, of course. I don't think any industry can avoid this, but the point I'm trying to make is the chance of you being selected to be made redundant is pretty low compared to other industries. Unless you're very incompetent in your job, your company will be shooting themselves in the foot if they reduce their cybersecurity staffs. Now how does AI and automations impact cybersecurity? Is the industry going to be eventually taken over by these robots? From my experience so far in this industry, AI in a nutshell has been heavily used to process through a huge amount of data and logs and then provide relevant insights or recommended actions. With these outputs, we create automations that follow a set number of thresholds or criteria to trigger specific actions. The main goal is to reduce the amount of easy, manual, repetitive work for the analyst to go through, and any events or detections that fall outside of the scope will be more worthy of our time. Now obviously the more we build on these AI automations, the more we can handle more complex situations. But at the end of all this, we will always need a human to make the final call. The reason for this is, AI, while it's still good at a lot of things, it still makes mistakes sometimes. We call this false positives. If you work in cybersecurity, then you know that any action that we take has a much bigger impact on the company than anyone else. If we fully rely on AI and it misclassifies a phishing email as clean and it releases to a non-technical person, all it takes is just one person to be compromised, then the attacker can perform lateral attack and further compromise more systems. Also, I don't really understand why people are always telling me why they are worried their job is going to be automated away in cybersecurity. In my perspective, getting all that boring repetitive work taken away from me is such a good thing. This frees up my capacity to perform more higher level tasks like developing new ideas for threat hunting and detections that covers more edge cases or enhancements to our existing systems. So yeah, I'm actually quite excited with all these advancements that are happening in this space. Now if you're still not convinced that the job security in cybersecurity is not that safe, even after all the points that I've mentioned, then here are some things you can do to significantly improve your chance of not being laid off. The main focus here is to make yourself more unique in this space. 
and that means you need to get more skills and knowledge outside of your current role. So if you're in a standard security analyst role, you're probably attending a lot of alerts and handling a lot of tickets, monitoring dashboards, or helping people resolve IT stuff. I will find some time to do online courses to learn new skills like Python coding or PowerShell scripting to be better at automations. Or if you're using a sim like Splunk, then you need to be really good at it so you know the ins and outs like how to create alerts, reports, and dashboards. The point is to make yourself the subject matter expert or the SME in a particular thing in your team that no one else is good at. Like if you're a Splunk SME, then whenever a question about Splunk comes up, everyone will come and seek your help. And that is exactly the stuff you need to make yourself more valuable. Anyway, I don't want to yap for too long, just want to make this video because it's something I'm going through right now. Hope I shower you guys with some proper wisdom. That's it from me, thanks for watching.